Hey, Sparky, Sparky, you online.com. Recently, I had the wonderful opportunity of doing a remodel in a home that had uh, some insulation in it. And this house was, uh, I think it was built in the early 80s. And this stuff is uh, really pretty nasty. But uh, anyway, luckily it wasn't so hot. Um, that, you know, sweat and stuff getting down on me, but what had happened is I was starting putting in some of these recessed cans here this stuff would just clump out of the ceiling and drop down on on my head and um, you know first day I was kinda like not wearing a dust mask Mr. Tough Guy but uh, after the next couple of days hanging out in this place I definitely wore a dust mask all day long wore a hat keep this crap off my head but uh, this is just some stuff you gotta deal with I mean it's just all part of the job and uh, it's not that not that big a deal, but um, you got to do what you got to do these days to make a buck. Uh, going to the next picture here, just another site. You can see how this stuff just clumps up here. And when I went and mounted that box right there and started beating on that rafter, that that stuff would just fall down and just um, and nasty. So here, I just wanted to show you um, kind of quickly. I had to run couple new circuits because they took the, the soffit out not necessarily circuits but uh, just some feeds for the branch wiring and went ahead and just notched a couple of those and used nail plates for them. The house being built in the 80s uh, had all white Romex in it. Today you've got uh, you know 14 is white, 12 is yellow and 10 is orange so you can see a couple of places where I added some new stuff in. I added that switch in there. But, um, oops. Just a quick little view up in that area there. And then some uh, recessed cans. You see how thick this stuff was. Um, you know, that being a 2x4 rafter. I, this stuff had to been 12, 14 inches deep. Had to rummage through all that garbage. And some of the wiring um, down in the hallway in this particular house. Um, stuff was just run all over the place. You can kind of see where I had to reroute some of it for the remodel and just mark my wiring up in there. And then um, last minute they wanted to add in a recessed can before they started sheet rocking so I had to um, kind of trace down some of the circuits and, and tie in the switch legs here. Actually this stuff is just some branch circuits. This is the switch leg going into it here. Another room had to deal with this. This had been there. I don't know that. Uh, I think it's been there for about 15 years, as far as this particular thing. The guy just never finished the room. But um, this is the the bat insulation, and this is just as bad. All the dirt and dust and everything collects up on the top. And when you go to move that stuff away, just a big old cloud of dust. All the fiber particles go through there. You know, some more dust boogers there. You know. An exhaust fan that just never got hooked up, so we went ahead and ripped that out, and I just put it in a new uh, ceiling box for the guy. So that's about it. Just wanted to pass that on to you and let you know, you know, you got to deal with this stuff when you got to deal with it. When you do, you know, wear your uh, safety glasses, long sleeve shirts, dust masks, and uh, be safe out there. Hey, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.